Hello everybody! Happy Tuesday! I hope you're having a great start to your day so far. Gonna get my earrings in. I love these earrings. They're so cute and simple. I got these from my girlfriend Lisa. I ordered them from her website. Um, she sells is it Park um, Park Parkway Parkland? I don't know something Park something. <laughs> earrings. I'll have to find out, but these are the real earrings. They're super, super simple and cute. So whenever you get on here, please say hi. Hi, Deborah. Um, I haven't done anything with my hair, and I honestly don't know if I really have time <laughs> to do anything. Um, I washed it last night, and if I don't blow dry it before bed, this is pretty much just what it does. Um, so I've just been trying to brush it this morning. I feel like there's so much of it today. <laughs> um, we have basketball today for Django. Just little homeschool basketball. I don't know if it's considered a camp or what. Um, so we have that today. So I need to get ready. And this is the, so Pharmacy also has hair care products. For those of you who don't know, we have a couple different shampoos. Uh, we even have a men's shampoo, but we also have this brush. It's a de detangler brush. So you can see um, don't pay attention to how dirty mine is, but you can see how, like, it's angled. It, like, really allows this brush to, like, hug your curls, if that makes sense. Like, really, like, hug those, um, tight spots, like, those knots that you're trying to get out. It really gets deep in there and just, like, helps pull them out without, like, pulling, you know, without hurting your head. So, this thing is amazing, and if you have a little girl that's hard to brush her hair, I recommend that and getting the kids' detangler spray as well. It's going to be a game changer. Okay, so let me get my makeup ready. Let's see. Is this my shade? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to use my VFX um, foundation, naturally. So, whenever you get on here, please say hi. Let me know that you're watching. Let me know what you're doing. Sure, everyone, it's what Tuesday morning, everyone's probably working, right? <laughs> so, I had a makeup event last night. Um, I love okay, first of all, I'll just go sit ahead and say, like, I'm not a fan of Facebook events, <laughs> and maybe that's like weird for me to say because I'm in direct sales, so you know, we do events, and the thing that I've learned about direct sales or sales in general things are always changing. People are always changing, growing, evolving, the whole nine yards, right? So um, you just kind of learn to change with it. And that's something to me that's just kind of, I'm done with like week long Facebook events or longer. Like I don't have time for that. Um, it just doesn't really fit in my personal life right now. <laughs> so um, I like to do every now and then, I don't do these consistently, but I like to host power hour events, okay? They are literally an hour long. That's it. They're super short, sweet, fun, informative. They're so, it's like a jam-packed event full of information. And I like doing them because you see me come on here and do my makeup all the time, right? But I don't wear every single product that pharmacy offers. Like, does anyone ever wear, you know, like that many products? every time they put on their makeup. No. So I just think that it's such a fun way to kind of let people know like everything that we have to offer because some people prefer different things than just what I wear or what I do. So I hosted a makeup one last night and from eight to nine. And after the event was over, I placed a bulk order for my customers, um, local and non-local. Um, so everyone could get, you know, their free shipping and all that fun stuff. Um, but the like number one raved on eyeshadow, I was really surprised how much, you know, how many people loved it. So I thought I'm just going to wear it today because it's such a fun, it's one of those colors that it's either going to give you, it can give you like a fun pop of spring color, or you can tone it like way down and get, um, you know, like a really pretty fall color with it too. Hey, Misty. Happy Tuesday, girlfriend. All right. So this is the VFX foundation. This is my go-to. I've tried, um, I've tried the VFX, which is obviously my favorite. I also really, really love the BB cream. 
Um, I have also mixed the BB and CC cream together, and I really like that. And I really also like the Stay Matte Foundation. The only reason I haven't been wearing my Stay Matte is because I don't have it in my shade currently. I have my summer shade. <laughs> Stay Matte is $12.90. It is pore minimizing. It's got minerals in it. And it's really, really good if you have oily skin. But I don't have oily skin, and I can still wear an oily you know, an oil-free foundation. So it doesn't dry you out or anything like that, but it's a really, really cool foundation. So, and I feel like, you know, that's another reason that I like the Power Hour events because a lot of people don't realize how many options we truly have. It's like we have options and budgets for everybody. So the VFX is $24.90. Um, and like I said, the Stay Matte is $12.90. So... The BB cream is 15 and I believe the CC is 16 So they're all pretty, like, priced pretty affordable. And then we also have a B Fit cream as well. And it's just another tinted moisturizer. It's actually waterproof. And in my event last night, one of my um, girls that was in there commenting, um, she is a mail carrier. So she's, like, always, you know, out in the heat and all different types of weather. And she loves the B Fit um, foundation tinted moisturizer. She said it never like budges from her face. So out there carrying mail, <laughs> which is pretty impressive. And I'm not, I can't quote that price, but I know it's not more than $18. So we literally have something for everyone. And like mascaras, we have so many options. Something for everyone's, you know, wants, needs, budget, eyeshadows, um, brow tools. Like we literally have got it all for everybody. And I love, I love that that, that pharmacy has such a wide variety of stuff like that. And I know at first when I was considering switching to pharmacy, it kind of freaked me out at first that they had so many things to offer because I was like, um, where I'm from, like we have a line for, you know, like we had one mascara, we had like everything was just like very like small and this is what we have to offer and it's either going to fit you or it's not. And then here it's like, oh my God, we have options. So I've really learned to love all the options that we have because not everyone has the same budget. Okay, not everyone can afford a $20 mascara. If you can, great. I've got an amazing one for you. It's my favorite mascara ever. Um, if you can't, if you're under $10 budget, I've got you. Um, if you're in the middle of that, I've got you. Like, I have so many options to offer, and I love, love, love that. It's like, it's been such an amazing tool to have to give people. Because you will learn as you start working your business consistently and people get to know you. Like, people want to support you. Um, and But people also need, like, options. <laughs> people need to know, like, that they can support you and not be in, like, a $30 or $40, you know, price range for just one product. Bless you. <laughs> she loves sneezing and being told, bless you. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay. Let's see, um, what am I going to wear for, oh, okay, let me blend this out. Whenever you get on here, say hi, and also, please don't be afraid to share this video. It helps grow my network so much, and I have recently had, like, just a couple people share my videos, and you'd be surprised at how much it helps. Like, I was a little skeptical at first, and it makes me feel a little bit awkward for asking, um, but it helps so much and I appreciate it a ton when people can share my content with their networks because you never know who in your network is looking for what I have to offer, whether it's makeup, skincare, an opportunity to help change their life or change their family's life. Like you, you can't answer that for your network. Like you got to share this and let them find out for themselves. <laughs> so, and if you do share, please comment below to let me know that you did share so I can thank you. Um, cause a lot of times, well, we know that Facebook has been crazy lately, especially with my stuff and not letting me see comments. Um, but depending on what your Facebook settings are, I, I might not be able to see who shares. So I just like to be able to know so I can thank you. So let me know below after you do that. Okay. So that is concealer. So I just use concealer 
Stick Light Ivory. I love the concealer sticks. They are full of antioxidants and they don't crease under my eyes, which is a huge plus. I hate when <laughs> um, I hate when you go to highlight and then it just creases and bunches up throughout the day. So we have basketball today and then schoolwork after. Jingo wanted to stay at Rita's when I got there to pick up to pick up Coco last night, so I was like, okay, well, I guess that's the perk of homeschooling, that you can have weekday sleepovers, because we can do school whenever we want, during the day, evening, wherever we want, we can stop at a park if we want on the way home and do our schoolwork. It makes it super flexible, and Django has just changed so much, and I know that going to um, the Blue Barn, which is his nature school once a week, has helped him thrive so much. Like, he was just needing that, like, outlet, if you if you will. And so he gets to do that once a week. Um, basketball now as well, once a week. That ends, oh my gosh, that ends the end of this month. I can't believe how quickly basketball has gone. So if you are watching this and you know um, of a basketball camp local to us, please let me know. That's what I'm searching for. Something else, he wants something to do with basketball. Um, so, <laughs> and, you know, obviously playing basketball at the park with mommy and daddy are only, you know, fun for so long. He wants to be with other kids playing basketball. So I thought a summer camp would be cool or something, whatever I could find. So if you know, let me know, please. So I can, I can get him involved in that. Okay. Now it's time for our eyes. I'm obviously going to wear my eyeshadow primer. This is my favorite primer ever. It really helps your colors just pop. Like it gives them an extra pop of color. Staying power is out of this world when you use an eyeshadow primer, a good eyeshadow primer. And if you are someone that has oily eyelids, meaning your eyeshadows and eyeliners just don't stay on your face at all throughout the day, you need a good primer. Normally I apply mine with my finger, but I, for whatever reason, applied it with this brush last week and I really liked it. So, I'm going to do it again today. And so obviously last night was my makeup power hour. Um, it was from 8 to 9 and I did free shipping after. And next week I'm going to be doing the makeup portion, or I'm sorry, the skincare portion. <laughs> Um, of the power hour. So it'll be probably from 8 to 9 again. Um, I have to calculate in my head like which night. It'll be a night that is not my night with Coco. <laughs> so it's not a disaster. Because um, I like to, you know, be on top of the event and pay attention. And What's the matter? Yeah, she's just throwing my shoes. <laughs> um... So I will keep you posted for sure because I like to do the events. I do a giveaway in the event. Um, and like I said, they're only an hour long, so they're so short, but they're incredibly informative. I pack a lot of really good information into my power hour events. Always do a giveaway and the giveaway is, it doesn't have to be, um, there's obviously you get entries for ordering, but you also get entries for participating in the event. Um, there's, and there's always posts that will tell you which ones you get entries into. So. Make sure, you know, you pay attention to those. It's just a lot of fun. So next week is the skincare, and of course I'll do um, another big bulk order after that one for anyone interested. And let me, I forgot my um, brow mascara, and I really want to do, there it is. Oh, I guess I don't have, I don't need that. Um, I do want to wear eyeliner today, but I'll probably just wear black. Okay. Let's put on some brow mascara. Brows make such a huge difference, and they help make you look younger. They just really help frame your face, too. So, throw on your brows. We have brow pencils. We have brow pomade. We have brow powders. We have brow mascara. Literally, something for everyone like whatever it is that you are, whatever look you're going for and something for everyone's budget. I think the brow mascara is it's like $9. Um, it's super inexpensive 
and I know that I share this often, but it's one of my favorite things to share about pharmacy. Hi, Teresa. And that's that pharmacy is an integrated company. And what that means is we have this huge facility that's called Pharma City. Okay, it's got like eight different factories, and each factory offers something, you know, has like they're the ones in charge of the specific ingredients. This one's in charge of the packaging, the labeling, the whole nine yards, like their production, all of that. And pharmacy manufactures all of their stuff. So we don't have third party vendors that we have to, you know, our lipsticks, our brand new lipsticks, for instance, when they went out of stock, we launched them in March. Um, we had them back a week later. They sold out again. We had them back the next week. So things come back quick because we make our own stuff. And I think that that's so incredible. That helps us keep our ingredients like where they should be. Um, and we follow European standards. So a lot of people will always message me after they've tried one of their new products and say, I'm so impressed that this didn't break me out or, you know, my skin didn't have an irritation to this. And that's, I swear it's because we follow European guidelines. European guidelines, um, keep out thousands of chemicals in your products. Whereas the FDA, anything that's USA, FDA regulated, they keep out like a handful. I need to fix her show really quick. Sorry. <laughs> um, so they're just regulated like top notch. And the fact that we, you know, we make our own products, we have our own ingredients, like we control all of that. And it just makes such a big difference. And that is how we keep our products so affordable because of third party vendors. We don't have a third party vendor that creates labels or gives us one specific ingredient. Like we grow our ingredients we make our ingredients whatever it is that we need we do it which i think is so so cool but i always like to remind people of that or just share that bit of information because um we're not used to having good quality products at affordable prices right i know i wasn't i always thought that you know oh well i'm not buying that because it's so inexpensive when I didn't realize what an integrated company was. I had no idea what that even meant. So for someone to tell me that, I was like, okay, well, the prices are still like really inexpensive, so I don't think I want it. Like I just had to get that out of my mind and learn, <laughs> like be open to learning about something new. And then I gave it a try and I absolutely love it. So this is like the, this was the most raved about, talked about eyeshadow last night. And it's called Orange Pop. It's a creamy eyeshadow, so pretty, and I'm gonna put it on with a brush too. Normally I do use my fingers. I feel like it's a lot easier to use um, creamy shadows with your finger, but my nails are a little bit longer than what I like them to be, so I don't know, I'm weird about, <laughs> I'm just weird about that. I need to trim my nails before I dig into this. Yeah, look how pretty this is. And you can make it get somewhere on there. Hey, April. And you can add as much as you want or keep it more subtle. I just think that this color is so pretty. You can wear it with, I think it would also be really pretty with the golden color that we have, which is, um, it's called Golden Shot. So these are the creamy shadows. Here's Golden Shot. I think that this would be really pretty with Golden Shot too. If you put a little bit of it in the corner, I might do that. And yeah. We'll leave it at that. I wanted to keep it simple just so I could really show off the orange for you. This is orange pop. And it really, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not, I don't practice enough with a brush, but it's a lot easier um, for me to just use my finger, which I think is why I'm struggling right now. 
but these are so creamy they're so soft to use Isn't that so pretty? And it makes my brush really messy. I just think that that is so pretty. Okay, so you can either obviously just leave it like that, leave it by itself. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer from my Peach Bite palette just to add in the crease just to give it a little bit of warmth on the corner just a little dimension and warmth but nothing crazy and then same thing over here this side may have gotten a little bit more But I think the orange is really pretty, even just used by itself. And especially for spring and summer. And like I said, for fall, you can get really creative and add in, you know, more browns or black eyeshadows and darken it up. But I think that it's really pretty by itself. So let me do, I might, I might add golden shot to the corner. I'm not sure yet. Let me do my, um, let me do my liner and lashes and then I'll, I think I'll be able to make a better judgment on whether or not I want to add add the golden shot. So liner. Okay. This is the ink liner. It's my absolute favorite eyeliner pen. It comes in black, brown, dark green. Um, navy blue, teal, like this is my absolute favorite. It doesn't budge, it goes on so bold. You don't have to like keep drawing lines back over top of it. And I always just I'll mess this side up. Apparently, I made that way too thick and way too something. <laughs> Let me try to even it out. Alright, that's better. And then we gotta fix this one just a little bit. I am so impressed with how good she's being right now. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do for lips either. Um, I might put on one of our new... New lip colors. I'll do that before I do my eyes. So this is Cool Beige. This is one of the new VFX lipsticks. The pharmacy launched and something else you know another cool fact about these new lip colors oh they are so creamy first of all all right I'll let that dry so something else that's super cool about these, these lip colors. So we already have a matte liquid lipstick line. This, these are the brand new VFX matte liquid lipsticks that Pharmacy launched. Um, and apparently, so one of the CEOs shared with us last week that they had this line, they had eight of these, or these eight shades for the European countries. And, you know, because of social media, we find out everything. So one of the U.S., influencers saw that and started telling them like we need these here in the US like we need these limited edition lips over here because we can run with that 
and that was, I forget the dates and I don't have my notebook here, but I wrote it down because it was really impressive. It was like the beginning of the month and by the second week we had, they had all of them here for us to launch. Um, because again, we make our own products and put them on the plane <laughs> and bring them over with us. And that was how quick the turnaround was. They had gotten all of the boxes ready, the packaging, everything ready for us. <laughs> and then the first two times that they launched, um, they sold out in under two hours total for both launches and sold $3 million just in eight lipstick shades. So that's also what I'm talking about when, you know, I talk about pharmacy being like, an, you know, integrated, but just really up and coming with the technology and knowing what their consumers want. Um, pharmacy has been around for over 70 years, so this isn't new to them. You know, they know that consumers want like new and exciting products and they know that that's what's going to help their influencers the most is by giving us what our, inf what our consumers want. So they are always keeping things exciting and fresh for us. Like no more two launches a year going on here. Like we're allowed to have sales. They offer us free shipping. Like they're always coming out with something new. They, we have launches every single month. Um, this month was the whitening toothpaste. So mine's actually supposed to be here today and I'm so excited. Um, I've sold six of them so far this month. I have a goal to sell 20. So if you're wanting one of the new whitening toothpaste, let me know. So we launched those. Um, what else did we launch? So we already have the fake lashes um, on our line. So this month we launched um, a lash applicator and like little lash scissors that you can use to trim your lashes if you need to. And oh, and we launched new makeup brushes too. I actually ordered, I think I ordered one of each. There may be three. There's um, a brush, a foundation brush that I ordered, and uh, there was a concealer, something for concealer, and an, an eyeshadow brush, I believe, if I can get my words out. <laughs> so we literally have something exciting happening every single month. And the another cool thing about this, I know I keep saying that there's more cool things, but there is. Like, men are here, too. We have men influencers. Because <laughs> um, we have a men's line. We have men's skincare. Um, we have men cologne. Men's cologne. Um, and they're, like, good men's products, all right? These aren't just, like, you know, junky men things. Like, they're really, really good. My husband really likes them. Um... And what was in other things? Oh, and with our line expanding this year, it's just, to me, it's going to make it available for even more men to be here making money because of the coffee line that's coming, the nutrition that's coming, and everyone likes being healthy. Everyone, like men and women. So it's just going to open even more of an opportunity for us here in the U.S., in Mexico, in Canada. Like, we're coming there September 1st, so... If you have, like, I wouldn't sit anymore. If you are here in any of the, you know, United States, states, I said that weird, but if you're here, like, and you're ready, just send me a message. I don't do follow-ups. Like, if you've messaged me about the opportunity, um, I used to do follow-ups, and I used to, you know, I always keep a list to follow up with people, and I had to make myself stop doing it, because what I found, what I, the, the, I was wasting so much energy on people that don't really want to be here anyways. I'm just following up with people who aren't ready to change their life. So I stopped doing it. Um, so if you have messaged me about the opportunity, um, you know, and I've sent you information, just know like you have to reach back out to me to get started with your journey. This is your business and I am here to help every step of the way, but you have to be the person that makes that first step. Like you have to be committed. To doing it. I'm not going to beg you to be here. I'm not going to follow up with you every week or every month. Like I already gave you the information. So just if you have, you know, reached out to me and you're watching this, just know, or you watch the replay whenever you're ready, I'm here. <laughs> um, I had to make that change for myself because I was, I was getting too stuck on, on that. And I didn't like how it made me feel anymore.
And now people just come to me and it's way easier for everybody. <laughs> Sorry, it's so hard for me to talk when I'm doing my mascara. But you already know that this is my favorite mascara that I was telling you about. This is the Starlook mascara. I feel like I still have so much of that primer left like it's been lasting a while but I'm curious to try another a different mascara primer because ever since I started using that I have to use like I always keep a clean wand with me to go through my lashes like to help separate them better and I've only been doing that since I started using primer so I'm gonna be curious to switch primers and see if that makes a difference Oh, and also, you know, feel free to share this with, you know, your network or send it to someone in a message if they have also, you know, if you know that they've been looking for another form of income. Like, that's the thing. It's 2021 and we have that ability to make money from our phones. You're already on your phone. So why not have, why not let someone teach you how to utilize your time correctly? Like, get it together with time management. Have someone help you. If you're already into skincare, washing your face, taking care of your skin, why not share that with your network and actually get paid for it? If you already love makeup, if you wear makeup every day, if you throw some on before you head out for the office every day, if you throw some on before you hop on your Zoom call, why not make an income doing that? Like, why not invest in your family just a little bit for $20 and start making an income? Start small. Start with a small goal and let's work on that. Let's work on how to tackle your first small goal and we'll go up from there. Just know that I'm here to help you accomplish that and my inbox is definitely always open and that is that my friends my hair is so crazy it's crazy but I feel like I can't straighten it because it would take forever um I feel like whenever I straighten my hair I like to blow dry it first after the shower <laughs> And I clearly didn't do that, so there's a lot more, like, wavies and curlies under here <laughs> hiding. Bless you! Oh, let Coco make her appearance. Here we go. Woo! She likes to brush her, brush her hair. Okay, I'm not going to add any golden shot. I'm just going to leave it like it is. So I think that that's pretty. Let's get Coco! Come on, baby! Oh! Hi, big girl! Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Blow kisses. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Tuesday. And um, I will, I'll be talking to you guys soon. <laughs>